Welcome to another video with Leslie. Uh, today I'm going to show you how that you can incorporate stitching onto your um, layouts, whether they're 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 or 8 by 8, whatever size layouts that that you might do. Um, and I think this is a really cool technique and I love the look of stitching but I'm not really a good sewer myself um, so um, this here technique that I'm going to show you uh, is really good for the person who's not a good sewer <laughs> um, what I am going to be showing you is these templates that I have and these are older templates these are from like 2007 2008 um, they're by Basil and they're called um, In Stitch In Stitches um, Templates, Stitching Templates. And what I'll do is I'll put um, a link down below that you can um, try and find these. Um, it looks like they still are available um, um, for purchase. So I will put the link down below. Um, so you can see some of them but as you can see I have several different ones and they come in like sets and they're not very very expensive um, so uh, what I'm going to show today what we're going to do is we're going to do the swirl um, this one right here we're going to do this uh, kind of flourishy swirl but they, I have the flourish set I have the dog set um, what else do I have uh, this one says family um, laugh, friends, love, some hearts, some flowers, princess. So, I mean, there's just all kinds of different templates that you can use. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do, and I just keep them on this huge ring um, for storage. It makes it makes it simpler. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do this this uh, flourish right here. So I'm going to take that off. Okay. So what you'll need is um, your cardstock. Um, you know, you can either do it as a small thing and then add it to your layout, or you could do this directly onto your layout, whichever your preference is. But for demonstration purposes today, I'm just going to um, show you on some plain cardstock. Okay. And then you'll need, of course, a, a sewing needle. Um, and then this is embroidery floss. I used to cross stitch a lot, so I have tons of this and tons of colors. So um, you'll need the embroidery floss. You'll need some type of piercing tool. Um, this is the Tim Holtz tonic one that I use, um, and and some scissors. Um, and then if you have one of these little foam mats. Um, this will help you to do your piercing so um, or if not you could probably do it like on a mouse pad it might work that way also so basically what you're gonna do it's it's really a simple technique um, you're just going to let me zoom in just a little bit okay I think that's good what you're gonna do the, the, the good thing about these is um, you know you can use these as many times as you like and I really like that um, so you just take your piercing tool and you're just gonna go through and you're gonna follow the template and just make your little holes very simple back and get that little loop there okay so you're just going to make your piercing ho holes okay all right and once you get them all done all you do is take it off and now you have the swirl on your paper okay they, I love these templates and I, I haven't used them in a really long time um, so but I need to start using them again. So you take your embroidery floss, okay, 
and then I'm just going to take, I don't know how much, and then, as you guys know, embroidery floss comes in six strands, but you don't need all six strands to do this. I mean, if you wanted to, you could. Um, if you wanted, like, a, a more bold effect, thicker, you could do it with um, all six strands, but I usually just take two or maybe sometimes three. Um, so you just separate your strands. And as you guys know, the uh, embroidery floss is not very expensive, um, you know, so, and you get a ton of it when you buy them in the, in the craft store. So I'm just going to thread my needle here. Okay, we're going to get started. And um, you just make sure your knot is big enough that so it won't come through the holes. So we're going to get started and we're just going to. You always want to start from the back so that your knot is flush against the back of the paper. Okay. And then you're just going to go up and then you're going to go down into the next hole. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. Down into the next hole. And you're going to go up into the next hole. Okay. Pull through. And then you have to do what is called like a, you have to go back into the previous one, uh, the previous stitch to make it um, go in a line. Okay. So and see how that made your line. Okay. So then you just go to the next one. Up and then back down into the previous hole. Okay. Go to the next one. Up. Okay, and now we're at the end. You're going to take it on the back side and you're just going to, you know, do your knotting on the back so that the, the strands don't come loose, okay? And I just do that two or three times to make sure that it's, it's tight and it's going to stay and not come loose. We didn't have enough thread to go back and pick this up, so that's why we're doing um, the knots here, okay? So then we'll have to get a new thread to go back. Let's cut off the excess. We'll have to get a new thread to come back to get this little part right here. So let me get my needle threaded again. your knots. Okay, so now we're just going to go back and pick up that little piece off, off the side. So what you want to do is you want to start in this one right here, I believe. No, you want to come back to this this back so that it so it, it's flowing kind of um, the same. So you want to come to this one right here. Let me. Okay, to make your first stitch. Okay, and then we're gonna go from here up to this one down into that one right there. Okay, there we go. So it's kind of just flowing off of the main flourish part. Okay. 
Okay, whoops. Sometimes they're a little heart tricky to f find the, the holes in the back. But so we're just going to go to the next one. go do the same on the thing on the back, turn it over, go to the back, and then make your knot so that it doesn't come loose. Loop and go through like that. And just do it two or three times just till you think it's secure enough. Cut off the excess. And then we'll go back, cut off all the excess little little um, pieces here of the thread. Okay, and then there you have a stitched flourish. Okay, now what you could do after this is you could go around and you could, um, you know, cut it out and make it like an embellishment, or. Like I said before, if you um, actually do it on the layout, you know, it would, it would be stitched and look just like this. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, check out these uh, Basil in Stitch templates, and um, have some fun stitching on your projects. So, thanks ladies for watching, and I hope you have a great and blessed day. Thank you.